So on on um I want to say the name right, Shalawan. On the the, the dumpak, right? You say, I'm doing lyrics right here. You say, do your chores, dog. I come through and sun you like get in that room and close the door, dog. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that song, first of all, I had to rewind that line like a million times in a row just because it's so nasty. It's so backhanded. Uh, <laughs> and that song was like a, a, a movie, in my opinion, like where when a dude uh, throw a match and, he, and, and the building explode behind him and he walk away, like you literally just murdered it and walked away like it wasn't shit. Like, that's what I felt like when I listened to that whole song. You murdered it like it wasn't shit. And it was actually a fucking tour de force performance. I'm saying that. Um, Appreciate that. How the fuck do you create all this incredible imagery? Uh, yo, I couldn't even tell you, for real. I just, you know, I, I get, you know, I smoke weed. And I go there, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand how sick I am right now that you don't even fucking know. I'm sick about that. Like, I thought that you would you would have, like, this grand blueprint, and you saying it's just, it's just coming out of you. I mean, it really is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It just come to me. I can't even really say. Like, it ain't really an extensive process. I just sit, play the beats, and I... You know, I apply myself. But you're a very educated dude, I can tell by listening to the music. So what is your relationship with, like, books and education and, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, mind you, I'm constantly, as far as constantly, I'm constantly reading shit. You feel me? I'm constantly reading shit. I'm constantly watching things. I'm constantly taking in information that I think is, you know, credible for, you know, where I want my my headspace to be at. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, you know, I'm gonna keep it honest, that's all day. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm always I'm always, you know, looking at shit and and taking and information. Shit. Taking in information. Um, you know, and then I'll formulate my own, you know, opinions on things for real. I look at everything and I look at everything from all types of different angles and just kinda come up with my own little, you know what I'm saying? Hypothesis on, on what's really happening. So, you know. So I'm not getting into people's ages and I haven't looked up your personals. I don't do that type of shit. Right. But I know you're not 22. You look 20. No, you look 22. I said to my girl, this guy looked really young. You're not 22, but you know how I know for a fact, you're not 22 or 25 because that? you mentioned on the song, depart autumn, you made a reference to Ed Hockley. So 20 dude in this 20. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Hockley, yeah, that's a ref. That's the a ref, ref, right? Um, yeah, right. But you nah. can't be 22 and know that. So yeah, I didn't want yeah. to... that was uh, I mean, that was in 2012. I want to say 2012. Ed Hockley was um, that had to be from around that time though, for definite. Like right. Hockley was old ass. Old but he's ass old though. Nah, he with old. The, with but the guns though, with the yeah. guns. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 Ed Hockley was that dude that was on your ass. He was on the scene. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With that whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna he gonna throw that motherfucking flag, man. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. And so that. listen to that song a million times, and I must have missed the Ed Hockley reference. I'm sitting on the couch, I'm smoked out. I hear you drop Ed Hockley on that shit, and I was like, dude, what is this dude doing right now? Like, <laughs> right. And that's what I'm saying. Cats don't understand, and that's why I get real like impassioned on some of my videos about what's going on in the culture and what people is missing. I got like a small handful of people who their minds is open and I turn them on and stuff. Like one dude, I haven't even turned dude on to your stuff yet because I got to sit there with him and set him up first. But the same dude, I had put him on the planet Asia like three weeks ago. I said this in a video and um, the anchovies album with uh, Apollo Brown. Apollo Brown, yeah. Oh my God. And fire. And I said, okay, I need to turn this guy on to Planet Asia. I'm going to let him hear fire. Let him hear fire. He was done. Right? So I just let him go ahead and build on that for a while. Go get some more Planet Asia. Go get some more Apollo Brown. Next week, I'm, I'm going to turn him on to your shit and just kill him. But it's like, it's so many songs. You're one of these dudes that's got, I almost don't know how to introduce cats because it's so much there. When I went to go do the, the, the video for C.C. Peniston, I spent the whole day listening to music, trying to figure out which one I want to fucking do. I mean, it was really that hard because you got such an extensive uh, body of work, which I hope it continue at that same uh, high level. 
Um, yeah, me too. Shit. Oh, this is what I want to ask you. Have you been able to travel and do like shows behind your work? And if so, where have you been? Did a couple shows with um. Did a couple shows with Onyx. They took us on the road with them like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was at Highline Ballroom, uh, Middle East, in in Cambridge. Um, we was in North Carolina. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We had a couple uh did a couple drinks on our own too. Did a uh we went and did something in uh in Durham. Okay. You know, it's really it's really all about if it's set up, you know what I'm saying? If somebody got it set up, then you know what I'm saying? If we can make it if we can come together and make it happen, we make it happen. As far as with, you know, Onyx, they took us on the road with them and I was you know, that was really a blessing just to see how shit really work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And so, you know, that was really more of a learning experience and just understanding, you know, just the motions of the wheels. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, other than that, now nah, we hoping to get on the road this year, though. Like, after this whole shit let up. Yeah. Like, you know, we was, we was planning on hitting the road. You know what I'm saying? And so what, and, and I'm, I'm guessing Onyx is still getting an incredible reaction on the road. Is the, is the energy the same in the crowd when they do a song like Throw Your Guns? I mean, you know, of course, that when they do their shit, yo, and, and they such professionals with it, like, yeah, you could tell that them niggas got their show down pat to a T. Like, they don't, yo, they got that shit from movements to ad libs to where the DJ cutting the cutting the music out so the crowd could uh participate, like. Nah, they got that shit down pat. Yeah, they come like, from that they, Jam Master J school, right? So that's a, yeah, that's a, that's that's really the next level at all. What they do is next level. Niggas like me and Nice, we go. That's why we could just hope to watch them and, and and just pull as much game as we can. So when we do get our opportunity to uh, touch the road, you know, we can hopefully even come close to that. Cause them niggas is them niggas is is ill with what they right. show for real. I saw you do just like this. Is Jay Nice in the building with you right now too? Nah, nah, okay, nah. I was about nah. to say. I was about to say. So nah. I want to get to the duality. You seem very comfortable expressing the duality uh, of human beings and even yourself uh, in your music. Uh, sometimes you feed the soul, the mind, educating people as to what's going on. Sometimes you're dropping gems on people to, to help them get through certain things. Um, and other times you be on that straight G shit. Is that a conscious yeah. effort? to express the duality or is that just how you are as a person and then that's coming out through your writing? I mean, that's really what it is. Like, the whole point, I, you know, as as men, you know, men are multifaceted. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, there's no one side to any person, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, with me doing that, that's really just how I feel. Like, you know, I'm a person that, I mean, you like you're not gonna play with me in a certain manner. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. But I'm still, I still deal in reason and compassion too, at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I just try to show all of that for real, just all angles. Of I everything. think you do a, a great job of, of showing emotions. You know what I mean? Uh, which a, a lot of men don't show in hip hop, especially if they might talk about grimy shit from time to time, but you got those little moments in there where you do show a feeling and a forward thinking about the next generation. I can hear that in the music. So I, I certainly appreciate that. And that's why I think this interview right now is so important because I do have like 30 year olds and 40 year olds that follow this channel. Recently has been some 20 year olds coming on saying that they really liking what's, what's going on with this new resurgence of the lyricism. Um, right. So I think that's a wonderful thing for them to be able to, to see that. And I think it really hasn't, I mean, Tupac did that, right? He was very vulnerable on his cuts. Um, and so I think you that's, bring That's in very that. influential to, to how I go about my approach with things. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Because it's relatable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because everybody got their moments where they going to be every type of way, realistically. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got your moments where it's like, yo, nobody's playing with me right now. You know what I'm saying? On no way, shape or form. And, you know, you got your moments where 
just everything you you think and you know what I'm saying you think about your family everything everything right. is in the spectrum of just life in general you know what I'm saying and I respect it because I'm a dude that I kind of don't I'm I'm old enough now <laughs> that I'd stop, I stopped giving a fuck. So on this platform, I got videos on this platform, three different videos I cried on the motherfuckers and don't right. give a fuck. You know what I mean? Um, well, I did a video when Kobe passed, rest in peace. It was oh, tough. Yeah. Um, that was tough. That was, I was tough, supposed man. to record a video that day and I'm looking at the news and boom, it came on. And I said, well, I got to do this right now. You know what I mean? And I just went and I did it and the shit was still raw and I cried on camera and um mac miller i did something for him and i wasn't all the way into his music i hadn't studied the whole catalog um but some things that he did I, he did something with sean price that i really liked and i knew dude had lyrics and then um the circles joint came out the album when he died i did that shit cried on that motherfucker and i've cried just listening to fucking hip-hop on here just because the music was so fucking beautiful the subject right, right. matter might not even been heartfelt. It was just the shit was so raw to me. And so I don't right. give a fuck. That's just where I'm at with it. If you could envision self-actualization, uh, what would that look like? Uh, how would you see your career going and what does your pinnacle look like if you had your way? I mean, you know, my whole goal is to, if I had my way, you know, I would, I would get, I, I ain't really the type that really looking for like OD fame and all of that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that'll have me in a a weird space. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just yeah. for, as far as how I live my life. But I mean, that's really why I never really was going at it even back then, like super hard. Cause I'm like, you know, all that extra, you know, like even for me to come do like a little interview, it's just, you know, it ain't always like, you know, I had to get to this point for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, you know, when I what I see is though just being able to create the best music that I can create, uh, helping push the narrative forward, the story of hip hop, what's going on right now, put a put a few good couple of dollars together and and you know, really uh make the best business moves as possible in the future. You know what I'm saying? Once that's acquired. Like when I look at, at rap niggas, I be inspired by the ones that was able to get on, do their thing, get their bread, and then take it and turn it into successful businesses that can be passed on to, uh, you know, ch the children and even the homies, shit that's going to get a homies jobs and even just put jobs, you know, with the family and all of that. So everybody be straight, you know what I'm saying? So you that's really, really just the whole you, goal. You answer my, my next question, which is um – if you just wanted to be a rapper, you have other uh, interests business-wise. But let me transition into, have you given any thought to ancillary issues not pertaining to rap? Like, to what extent do you focus on branding? What is the left uh, lane? Help me. Brand? Some. Yeah, yeah. Left lane did on brand? Did on. I there we go. Say, um, I don't even know. Like, it ain't, in my opinion, it ain't nothing, like, extremely specific. I'm just trying to really just uh, really show that, you know, you can really just be who you are for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't got to be vicious, tough guy. I don't got to be a little crybaby neither. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. I could be in the middle and I could feel any of the emotions anytime I, that they come to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm human. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. other than that, like, you know, I don't know, though. Is there ever any... Um, I want everybody to hustle, for real. Everybody to to be yeah. about their shit so that, you know, we can get away from motherfuckers really holding us, holding us back. You know what I'm saying? That's really it. What, and I was going to ask you, do you ever give consideration to, to your image or is it just about the music for you? I mean, of course, like... Of course, when you go doing... Doing like some video shit, yeah. You gonna have your, like your clothes. You gonna wear right. something that you think is wavy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. But you know, other than that, I wouldn't even say too much. Like, I really just do whatever I really want to do for real. You know what I'm saying? It don't really be nothing more than that. I do whatever I really want to do. I, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. 
You know what I'm saying? If I feel like I'm going to do something this way, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? How deep is you rolling when you go to a club date? You about to go do a show. How deep is that squad? I mean, I got a lot of homeboys for real. So I know niggas going to want to just come anyway. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going to be fairly deep for the most part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I mean, y'all wondering. I mean, at the end of the day, if nobody wanted to roll, if it's if it's something that I got to do, I'm gonna go do it by myself too. I've yeah. done plenty of things by myself. Like <laughs> I know I'm gonna hold me steady. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stand firm. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Like I do it by myself too. But you know, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of homeboys that really been supporting what I'm doing, and I know that they absolutely want to be involved in everything that. I'm doing nice doing YT. So Chris, public service Stat, announcement. Don't Biden. come to the show trying to act tricky. Cause we deep out here. What is the worst thing happening in rap right now? The worst? Yes. I, I mean, I feel like the the possibly the worst thing would be motherfuckers that's that's getting to that real bag, burning it up on dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think that that might be other than that, as far as the music. Like music is music, and and just because I might not vibe with something, there's somebody that's vibing with it, and it's changing their life, and hopefully it's is is doing it in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Because really, in all reality, you can't even really explain how another person might perceive perceive music. Everybody take it in different. You know what I mean? It's so subjective. So you know, other than that, I would just say like, yo, yeah, niggas that's getting bagged up, like nigga change some shit you know what i'm saying like or at least make an attempt link up come together like you know right do something and uh, i know a lot of people throughout history have come into this business and got taken advantage of how have you found navigating the business side i mean like i think it's you know this shit is like you know it could be annoying sometimes you know what i'm saying it could be annoying sometimes but for the most part, I think I'm cool to do business with, you know what I'm saying? Because I deal in reason, you know what I'm saying? I'm reasonable and realistic, you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like if you keep that in mind, then you know what I'm saying? You're going to make the best business decisions for you. And if you feel like you're worth, if somebody not really compensating you for what you feel your worth is, then, you know, take a step back, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to like, do it. You can yeah. wait. Sometimes it's better to wait shit out. Yeah, I, I feel like y'all is uh more independent right now would you ever oh, sign, all the way yeah would you sign to it would you consider signing to a major Pro if, if i was to ever do something of that nature it would have to be probably something short term but now nah, i wouldn't turn it down like if somebody wanted to come do one two albums something that i could work through fairly quickly and you ain't got me all stagnated you know what i'm saying then possibly you know, I would definitely put some time constraints around it, too. Right. Because, you know what I'm saying, that way, you know, that I can't be held back. But other than that, you know, if 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 the situation is right, then, yeah, I'm not going to turn I'm not going to turn down no good opportunities. That makes sense to me. So, just just for the thought of being like, oh, O.D. gun ho uh, right. indie. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. But I but not, that is really where I plan on staying, though. Honestly. Okay. And uh, so with, with all the moves that uh, Griselda's making right now, do you see Griselda as that crew that kind of opened up lanes for people to find people like you and, and Mock and, and all hell YT and all the rest of these great lyricists? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? They really, they really, um, they really kicked the door down for real. You know what I'm saying? Got You got to get them they, they respect on that level just because, you know, niggas seen it. And if you will be fronting and really act like, now it ain't like niggas can't, you know, you can always do other things to make yourself go. There's a lot of different lanes that you can operate in, in music. You know what I'm saying? Right. And there's always ways that you can expand your, uh, your artistry and your brand yeah. outwardly. But, as far as uh, if you're talking about new wave, yeah, yeah, them niggas, you did. Them niggas did that. You got, you got, uh, I think at least one song with Benny. Yeah, um, I got and, a couple. We did two joints. Your, your deuce, deuce, right? Deuce, deuce, and um, 
Bensonhurst. That's Benson what I'm Hurst. called, Bensonhurst Street Festival. And you did something with, I think Jay Nice was on it with you and Conway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah. y'all got a, you got a relationship with those guys, or how did y'all link up? When them, um, when them niggas was um, they was um, they was getting it, they was getting it going. You know what I'm saying? They was doing well. You know what I'm saying? Niggas reached out to Benny. Niggas want to do wanted to do a couple records with him, and he was um, yo, he was cool, man, for real. I, I, I gotta salute him because you know, he really a real. He a real, he a real stand up nigga for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he always showed us love. You know what I'm saying? When they went on their first, uh, when they went on their first uh, little tour run, you know what I'm saying? I would pop out, and you know what I'm saying? Nigga always was extremely cordial with me. You know what I'm saying? So yo, one love to Benny for real. And you went bar for bar with Benny and Conway. So. I appreciate that. And them appreciate dudes is they, they actually giants. So that's a that's a a crazy statement. You went bar for bar. Um is there anybody out now that you haven't worked with that you think you might want to work with? I mean, yo, it's a yeah, it's a one thing about one thing about me, I ain't really uh I ain't really opposed to working with a lot of people, especially people that uh that I respect, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of people that I I would love to work with, you know what I'm saying? I don't really want to go and throwing out no names I got like you. that. I got you. Because they'll you know call what I'm saying? Everybody hopefully in a few months, they're going to call you. That's what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? One thing, I always just take everything in stride. Like, it is what it is. I know for sure, like, I got, it's on my back for real. So I can't even be looking for nothing from no nobody, period. I got to do my work, you that's know what I'm saying? And, and that's it. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I'm back. I'm down to the fun questions because I'm about to wrap up here. I want to actually respect your time, and I hope that maybe one day we'll be able to do this again because I, I'm a, I know I'm gonna feature you more, and I know I'm gonna have more questions. Um, but these are the fun questions. How many fun questions do I have? I got two, I think. Okay. Listen, I want to ask you this: Would you rather die having earned? Would you rather die having earned untold wealth or would you rather leave Earth knowing that you are regarded by many as one of the best MCs that ever did it? Yeah, I'd rather have an MC title for me personally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wealth, that shit gonna stay here. You know what I'm saying? But I know that legacy gonna last. Like, you look at it, man, you already know. Yeah. Look at Al Green. Look at Al Green. Like, come on now. Yeah. Look at James Brown. Like, yeah. I'd rather have that. I want my name in the stone. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, 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 I ain't chipping that. off no bag like that. I'm good, for real. Somebody owed me money because I bet somebody, and I was right. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you this. Would you consider featuring on a Britney Spears song if the bag was right? Ah, I mean... <laughs> The song would have to be right too, though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not going, I'm not going to disrespect myself neither. Not for no bag. I'm good. Like I, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't value money OD like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like right. I get to my own bread. Like I live comfortably for what I, I'm into. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if the song was right and she really got on some shit, cause that's possible too. Like if it was like some real beautiful. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Then you know it's possible, but I can't really see myself just selling myself out just for no reason. You know what I mean? It, it gotta be right for real. Like I believe that I, I, even if it was ten mil, like even if it was ten mil, it's like I don't know. Is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Hey, listen. All I know is that the description under this video is gonna say left lane. That Han is dying to work with Britney Spears. Hell, <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> oh, chill. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, so um, what do you want to promote? What you got coming up that we should be on the lookout for? I got a um, I got a couple of projects coming. I got this joint I'm doing called a uh, Electric Dolphin with my boy Bombay the Realist. He did all the production. I've been I've been putting it together for. 
couple months. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting on the beach for a while. And so, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking to get that going. Like, like that's one of the next things niggas going to see from me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think it's a good project for real. You said the producer's name is Bombay? Yeah, Bombay. Because I'm taking notes right now because I got to know yeah, everything. Yeah, Bombay. Good. And so, so you know. um, before we get out of here, I want to go back to this. The relationship between you and Jay Nice, the Mobile Yeri. Mobilari. The Mobilari, I'm sorry. Is that a group? Yeah, yeah. All okay. day. All right. We're, we're, we're a duo. We're a tandem. Okay. And then, yeah. so when I, and when, I, when I did the video for Dump Life, I was completely wrong on so many fronts because I said Dump Life was a group. It's not, right? That's just I a mean, the album. Dumpers, you know, that's, our, that's our, our affiliation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. With Fahim. That's like our, that's our space when we go fuck with bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's, that's, that's family for real. So, nah, Dumpers is definitely movement you know what i'm saying for real you know what i'm saying and then y'all all do solo too each one of y'all do yeah solo. yeah and link up with different people because i see jay nice with a whole bunch of different people and yeah i mean you know niggas working for real you know what i'm saying niggas yeah. working yeah dump 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 family you know that's family for real fahim is family to us so you know what i'm saying we you know we always gonna work with him you know what i'm saying y'all all a bunch of young fucking geniuses i mean that's just what it is i mean i i when i i Y'all shit is on a whole different level. I just, I just don't have the words to describe everything that I want to say as it pertains to y'all music. So all I can do is kind of just push it forward and hope more and more people catch on to it. But you're not going to catch me not talking about this shit. It's very important. I got a son. My son had, um, he was big on Our Future back in the day. Okay. He turned yeah. me on to those guys. Um, Earl Sweatshirt, he a big fan of Earl. Earl. Earl yeah. nasty. Earl oh, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the beats Earl's and the lyrics. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, and then I put him on to you because I know how his ear is. And he was like, oh, where, where was this shit at? So I mean, and he's a young dude and he's getting it in. So I we're gonna just try to try to keep pushing it forward. Of course, on this platform, this will not be the last that people hear uh about your work. And I just wanna uh thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. It was again. My honor, it's a big moment. And I do hope that um, you consider coming back. And even after you go to the Rock Nation brunch, I hope you still remember <laughs> who the fuck we is. And you come holla at us. But Lord I said, willing, man, Lord willing. Yeah. But, nah, but, nah, absolutely. I appreciate you, though, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you thank know, you I was, so much. I was surprised at all that. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm 100% appreciative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you were so real about it. I reached out to you. You got right back to me. Uh, you kept your word and came through with the interview. And I get, I can say now, I mean, this ain't the first interview I've ever done. I used to do some stuff back in the day. We're not going to talk about. But before the internet really popped. But um, I can say now I'm I'm over being nervous about this shit. So thank <laughs> you for coming through. I, I was mean, talking you about know. This. Yeah. Some, you know, you got you know, you to jump off the porch sometimes. I always tell the homies, like, shit. Like, dog, you know, you know how I go. Sometimes yeah. you just got to go for shit. And it'll work out if you really, you know. That's my little motto. Because, you know, shit. I ain't really, I ain't really never did no real interviews and shit like that before. Couple. I got a couple under the belt. But. Oh, I listened to a couple that you did. Yeah. yeah you know, I was, I was hey. Somebody, I don't know if they was your you know, people. They probably, they probably wasn't your people because you real, you real laid back and cool. But. Somebody told me I pronounced your name wrong in, in my comment section, but then somebody else showed them it was like, "Do your research," and I was like, "Well, damn. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't, I don't be knowing who them people are. You know what I'm saying? I don't know them. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. You know what I mean? You know I ain't with encouraging no. Oh um, yeah, yeah. No but I was happy. Hey, I like that because it was like, yes, do your research, and I was like, I need to really find out if there's some interviews out there. I listened to an interview we did with some cats. I'm not gonna say too much about that particular interview, I thought maybe it could have been more focused on you. But um, that's what we wanted to do here is, is put the spotlight no, you on you. You did that, too. You did uh, that. I, I said you did that, though, for real. Yeah, I mean, like, we yeah, you, that's, that's the only thing I'm here for. The only reason why I'm really doing any of this is really it starts with the music. And so when I get an opportunity uh, to sit and talk with, I, I, I call you a fucking scientist. I done followed this game for a very long time. I was involved. I had a crew. I used to spit never as good as none of these people that I actually fucking like. I know what the process looked like from the inside. I know what the work is that gets put into it. 
I know the heart and the soul and the feeling. And I know when somebody is a very high level lyricist and when the fuck they not. So for me to get the opportunity to talk to you, it's going to be, I, I, I met Scarface before. I, I chopped right. it up with dude before, like back in the day, few minutes, uh, eight ball. I chopped it up with that dude, Danny Glover. I done met those are things just like this interview. I am never going to forget. I just want you to fucking know that. Uh, Cause I know where, what your potential is and where you going. You got the whole world in front of you right now. And I'm honored that you was able to give me this opportunity. And again, I hope that you at some point come back and do this again. Hey, appreciate you, man. Hey, that is left lane did on. I'm going to learn how to say that properly. Grayson is with his presence. I call him the lyrical phenom and make sure you go check out this man's whole catalog. Because if you don't, you already know I'm coming back with a reaction, a whole show, and we might do a whole fucking lesson on this shit. If y'all keep playing with me, uh, other than that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out. <laughs>